I was really looking forward to those. Oh, oh, I got it! Yes! Hey! Ow! Oh, my foot! Again! So, where the Grizzlies is the cheese? <gasps> and where's my little treasure? Wait! Slow down, cheese! Ah, you're not getting away that easily, cheese! No cheese and no Norman Price. I smell trouble. I thought that was the cheese. Um, excuse me, Station Officer Steele, but, um, Norman sent the cheese rolling off the course and ran off after it. That's treacherous terrain out there. Oh, no. My little treasure is lost in the mountains. Oh. Don't worry, Dillis. We'll find him. But it's quite a wide area. We'd better call Fireman Sam. I'll go and get the helicopter. <laughs> Norman Price is missing in the mountains. Norman Price is missing in the mountains? This would have been the perfect job for Saturn's heat-seeking sensors. But Saturn's broken, huh? Sam. Hmm. Well, if we can't find him by sight, Elvis, perhaps we can find him by smell. <laughs> you all to myself. Just you and me out here, all alone, on this rocky ledge. Help! If Radar can sniff out the cheese and follow the scent, he'll lead us straight to Norman. Well, I've been holding the cheese all day. My hands really smell of it. Radar, go fetch. Oh. It's okay. I found him, Tom. Norman Price is on the west face. Roger that. Lower the double harness. James? Is that you? Oh, Dad! You've got to help! Norman's lost in the fog and I can't find him anywhere! Norman! Are you there? Let's head back to the boat. It's time to call Fireman Sam. Norman Price is lost in the fog on Ponty Pandy Island. Uh, uh, oh, the uh, uh, Finally, my lovely cup of tea. Norman Price is lost on Ponty Pandy Island. Come in, Penny. We have an emergency. Take Neptune to the Ocean Rescue Center. We'll be ready with Saturn. Over. Right you are, Sam. We're 
his invisibility. Let's hope Sutton can see better than us. Anything? Come on, Sutton. I've got something. Sutton's found Norman on the secluded beach. Hold on! That's about as much as I have time for this morning. Is this what you want your garden to look like, Mum? Yes, Mandy. And one day it will. But right now, I have to go to work. Have a good day, Mandy. You too, Mum. Mm. Come on, Dad. We're going to fix up the garden for Mum. Hey? Oh, I was going to have a snooze. No time today, Dad. We're going to turn this garden into Mum's dream garden. Well, this is everyone's dream garden. Oh! No! Oh. Well, maybe this deck chair could do with a couple of nails in it. Dad! We're going to be getting rid of that deck chair. We are? Yes, and all the weeds and that old tyre. And we're going to make this the best and most perfect garden in Ponty Party. <laughs> Well done, Fireman Sam. Perfect. Right, Elvis. Now your turn. Okay, Nurse Flood. <laughs> um, Elvis, I think that bandage might have been a bit too long. Biddington, what's going on? I don't think he was supposed to cover up his eyes. Who turned out the lights? Where is everyone? Oh, my knee! My knee! <laughs> I think he might really need bandaging now, Elvis. Oh. Right! Team Garden Force, are you ready to do a mega garden makeover? Yes, family! James, you are doing the weeding, Sarah, you paint the bird bath, Dad, you cut the grass, and Norman, I need you to put fertilizer on the flower bed. Ready? Ready! ready. We're going to make this the best garden in Ponty Pandy. Go, team! Stinky fertilizer. Because in Team Garden Force, everyone has a job to do, and that's your job, Norman. And what are you going to be doing as part of Team Garden Force, Mandy? I'm building the fountain, so I'm off to Joe's to see if he's got a water pump I could use. Well, that sounds like an easy job to me. There are no easy jobs in Team Garden Force, Norman Price. Now go and get the rest of the fertilizer and get on with it. I'll be back as soon as I can. I'll be back. <laughs> Point your toes together. <laughs> Sorry. That wasn't quite as graceful as a falling snowflake, was it, Penny? Uh, no, Elvis. Ah, a toboggan ride down a steep slope will make my actors look really frightened and make my movie really scary. Okay, actors, get on the toboggan. We can hear you. You'll slide down this, um, gentle slope and I'll follow behind, filming you so it will look like the monster is chasing you down the mountain. But Uncle Sam told us not to go past those boundary ropes, Norman. Action! <laughs> Whoa! 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 Norman Price! That was very dangerous! Oh, be quiet and look scared! Avalanche. K. 
kids? Are you okay? Hello? Oh, I better call Fireman Sam. <gasps> Norman, Sarah, and Mandy have been caught in an avalanche. Norman, Sarah, and Mandy have been caught in an avalanche. We're on our way, sir. Okay, everyone. Now it's time to ski. Uh. Ah! We'll zigzag back and forth across the avalanche zone, just like we practiced. Listen out for your transceiver, and when it beeps louder, the kids are close by. It's beeping louder, Sam. We're getting close. Hello, Sarah, Mandy. They're trapped in the hut. Great snowplow, Elvis. Huh? I got it. Oh, thanks, Penny. <laughs> If I can grab that branch, I can stop the boat from moving. I'll help you. Ready? Now! <laughs> Don't you worry, Norris. I've got you. I don't know how long I can hold on. They took the boat downstream. OK. Penny? Go and satin in that direction. It'll find Steel and the others by sensing their body heat. Elvis, I need you to direct me through the dark. Okay, Sam. Sam. The rowing boat is at the top of the waterfall. You need to head 200 meters north, Sam, and quick! On my way. Ooh. He is doing this near! Everyone is safe. I'm sorry. I, I wanted to be fun, but it led us to dangerous waters. And I'm sorry too. Next time, don't go too far and always check where you're rowing. Oh, we will, Sam. We won't make that mistake again. And are you two all right? It did get a bit scary, Uncle Sam. But we did have quite a lot of fun with Station Officer Steel and Grandad. You hear that, Penny? Station Officer Steel was fun. Maybe he won't be cross that I got his report soggy and messy. Bridlington, you got my report soggy and messy? Come on, everyone. Let's get back and finish the filing. Not you, Cridlington. You can explain what you've done to my reports. Um, Aha! They never find me in there. <laughs> Never in a million years. <laughs> Maybe he is really good at hiding. Just like the Invisible Man. He must be here somewhere. Keep looking. <laughs> I told them I was good. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh, Hans. Oh, the claw 
holding up my leg. Ah! I've got ants in my hands! Ah! Where can he be? We've looked everywhere. There we are. The sausages are ready. Yeah. What's that? That log sounds like my Norman. Look out, Dillis! Oh, oh Trevor, you saved my life. Yeah. Oh. Uh, the heat and then cheek. Norman, my precious boy, what's happened to you? Trevor, the camping stool! Oh my, I think I'd better call Fireman Sam. There we are, perfect. Ah, solid as a rock. Well done, you two. Oh, and not a moment too soon. There's a forest fire and Trevor, Dillis and the children are trapped. There's a forest fire and Trevor, Dillis and the children are trapped. We've got a forest fire. We're going to need you, Tom. On my way. I'm a volunteer firefighter, you know. Oh, Trevor, you are so brave. It's Bird and Sam! Woohoo! It's really quick. Come on, sir. Hold it. Start the stopwatch, Mandy. I'm doing the first record breaking balloon flight from Ponty Pandy to Newtown. Time someone stopped a stopwatch. I never realized dancing could be so much fun. <laughs> Me neither. Any more dancing, Sam? Well, okay, let's try the jive. Yay! My favorite! <laughs> to break. Not before I do. <gasps> Baked beans? Of course. That's it! A bathtub? Of course that's it! James, Sarah, over here, quick! Hi, Derek. What's happening? I need your help with this old bathtub. But quickly, I'll explain on the way. Going 
card. Norman Price. Are you sure you packed everything I need for the best sleepover ever, Mum? Of course I have, Norman. I packed your toothbrush and your comb and your teddy bear. Oh, don't <laughs> pack that. I don't want to look like a baby. Have you packed my army bob pyjamas? Of course I have, my little treasure. Oh, that's my... That's my... And now I'm off to the best sleepover ever. Who'd have thought? My little Norman, stopping out all night. Oh, no! Norman, your army bump pyjamas. Oh, dear. I wonder what pyjamas I pack then. As it's a night shift, Penny, we're really going to have to stay focused. So concentrate really hard. I will, Sam. Am I a cup of tea? Well done, Penny. And it only took you ten guesses. My turn. Uh, am I an elephant? Firefighters. Oh, Chief Fire Officer Boyce. What are you doing here, sir? Surprise, night shift, training drills. Um, you seem to have some, uh, paper thingies on your, uh, on your heads. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Well, uh, sometimes on a night shift we play What Am I? It helps us stay alert, sir. Ooh, a bit of brain training. I like it. Right. All we have to do is wait for your mum and dad to go to bed, and then we can have the best sleepover ever. I'm so excited. It's a good job I don't have big baby pyjamas like you two. These aren't baby pyjamas. Neither of these. Well, they are compared to my pyjamas. Oh, no. My mum packed my cuddly sheep pyjamas. Uh, everybody, look over there. <gasps> what? Oh, no. I'm getting up. <laughs> I'm at the platform, Ben, but there's no sign of Mike. Maybe he's jumped overboard, Sam. I'll take a look around. I'll hold her steady. Penny, Elvis, you direct the cannons. Help! I'm over here! Oh, I got my whistle. Coming, Mike. Sam. I got you, Mike. Nice job, Ben. Oh, thanks, Bronwyn. Sorry about your fireworks, Mike. It was my fault. I should have been more careful with me button. Well, it was a bit choppy out there. Probably a Force 3. Does that mean there won't be any fireworks, Mike? I'm afraid it does, James. The ocean of flame will never be seen. It might, Mike. If I help you, we can go out on Titan. Oh, I love a fishy nibble. Don't you, Trevor? Uh, Little bro Neil slips into the pool. <clears throat> you should do the honours, Sam. I will, sir. Attention, everybody. Oh, what's going to happen? I now declare the Ponty Pandy Ocean Rescue Centre open. Hooray! <laughs> and we're off. That really does look like an ocean of flame, Mike. But this time, I won't put it out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm stuck again. <laughs> Help. Don't let
let it blow up. Three, two, one. Please don't let it blow up. Ignition. towards the key. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. He's gone off the end, eh? <gasps> He's heading out to sea. I usually do that. We'd better call Fireman Sam. Joe Sparks is heading out to sea at speed on a rocket-powered hover cart. I'll take Juno, you two take Neptune. I might need backup. Island and have to draw a face on a football so I've got someone to talk to! Sorry, Sam. I didn't think it would go as fast as that. That's all right, Joe, as long as you're OK. Well, I have to say, it was faster than mine. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Uh, no, you two. And the winner of this year's Ponty Pandy Cup is... Norman Price. Oh, Hooray! Yeah! Hooray! My Norman has won something at last, with no cheating or naughty tricks or taking my things without asking. Yes, ma'am. Thanks, ma'am. <laughs> Good job you're wearing waterproof, Spad. Did we win? Oh, James. <laughs> <laughs> And then Radar will get in. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Radar, stop! Come back! Well, now I feel a little bit silly, eh? Round three, the 100 metre pet and owner dash. 20 bonus points to the winner. Ready, steady, go! In here, off and racing. Mandy and Nipper take the lead, followed by Sarah and Lion. Coming in at third place is Norman and Woolly. Who stops to eat some tucker? Come on, Wooly! And racing up the rear is Norris, fast as lightning! Oh! Nipper would go so much faster if I wasn't holding him back! Nipper, if I let you off the lead, do you promise to behave? <coughs> I'll take that as a yes! Run like the wind, boy! Fire at the whole fish cafe. A nipper and lion are trapped inside.
Well, Nipper can be a handful. I'm sorry, Fireman Sam. So am I. That's all right, you two. But you need to keep a careful eye on your pets at all times. <laughs> What kind of chemicals are we dealing with? Elvis. Sodium! But there's all sorts of chemicals in there, Sam. Oh, I wonder what extinguisher Sam will use. I've got it! So have I! Because, because when in doubt, doubt you can fight, fight fire with Sam. <laughs> you have got it! You put out the chemical fire, Elvis. I'll deal with everything else. over the sodium. That's okay, Sarah. I think you should just have one party next year. Just a plain old party with games and balloons and party hats. Boring! <laughs> 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 Perhaps we could listen to my tape of greatest ukulele hits from around the world. No way, Trevor. We're on the one-way street express. Oh, I was afraid of that. Whoa! It's too icy! She's skidding! Oh, we're stuck in the snow. We're going to have to wait for help. The concert. I know. Maybe we could walk the rest of the way. What a totally brilliant idea. But it's quite a long way. And it's really cold out. Quite right. We should stay here and wait for help. Oh, please. Mum. I don't think so, Hannah. It'll be really hard for you in your chair. I've got my snow wheels on. I'll be fine. Listen, everybody. I know it's cold. I know it's snowy. But we're so close to seeing our favourite boy band in the whole wide world. And we're going to be in the front row. We are strong women. And Trevor, we can make it through a bit of snow. Mandy's right. We can do it. Well, I suppose, if we all stick together... And it isn't that far to Newtown. And I would quite like to see them, especially Larry. Yay! Let's go! One-way street, here we come! Oh, dear. Oh, I suppose I'd better go with them and keep them safe. You gotta get where you're going And keep on walking, gotta get where you're going Here you go, little old lady. Try these hand warmers. Oh, it's too hot! My poor little old lady head! Don't worry, station officer, little old lady. Try this lovely warm soup instead. Oh, oh hot, hot! It's too hot! My poor little old lady mouth! That little old lady is very grumpy, Sam. I know, Elvis. I know. 
It's so much f further than I thought it would be. I want to go back to the bus now. Ooh, me too. My hands are like blocks of ice. We can't give up now. Remember, we are in the front row. Elvis, that is quite enough. The boy's gone do lelly. Oh, my nerves are in shreds and the shreds are in tatters. Elvis, if you carry on like this, you're going to lose your job. Okay, fossil hunters, lunch is over. Let's get going. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> ah. Grizzly. Ah. <laughs> ah, I'm fine. No need to. Whoa. Ah. Ah. Moose! Uh. Moose! Are you all right? Yeah, I think so, but I can't seem to move. I'm stuck between a rock and uh, another rock. Hey, don't worry. I, uh, I have my walkie talkie. Oh, no. I hope. Sand broken! We need to get help. How about Grandad? He could call Uncle Sam. It's okay, Moose. We're getting help. Now, what's this about your fossils? James, Sarah, what a lovely surprise. <laughs> There's been an accident. Moose has fallen down a ravine and is stuck between two big rocks. Oh, dear. Uh, stay calm. N no need to panic. And call Fireman Sam. Oh, I just don't know what's got into Cridlington today. Now he's gone and hidden my helmet. It's almost as if he wants to lose his job. <laughs> Moose Roberts has fallen down a ravine and is stuck between two big rocks. <gasps> I'll call Tom. Come on, Penny. you out of here. It's no good. I'm stuck fast. Hang on a minute. It's not you that's stuck. It's your rucksack. This should do the trick. It's no more than you think. I wonder which way they went. Oh, come on, Lily. This way. Lily, we'll find them. Oh no, I think we've come the wrong way. I didn't realize how narrow it was. Now, what we have here is a great big piece of slate. Lily? What? Lily isn't with us anymore. Oh no, Sarah's gone too. I, I can't see them anywhere. Lily! Sarah! Where could they be? I better call Fireman Sam. Sarah and Lily are lost on Ponty Pandy Mountain. Sarah and Lily are lost on Ponty Pandy Mountain. I'll head to the mountains. You call Tom Thomas, sir. Right you are, Sam. Thank you. 
Sam, they're in a tricky spot. I'll use the winch. Can you get me any closer, Tom? to find a safe place where I can reach you. What are you doing, little sheep? He's showing you the way to safety. If you get up there, we'll be able to reach you. that you press the activation button twice to enter the menu mode. Which one is that? I don't know, Penny. Ah, how are you two getting on? W well We're completely stuck. Hmm, it looks like you press the red button to open the menu. Then you change the settings by using the yellow and blue buttons. It's working. Maybe playing with giant vegetables can come in handy after all. I, I'm so cold and wet that I lost my recorder when the boat capsized. I'll never record a whale now. It's my fault. I'm sorry, Charlie. I shouldn't have tried to take over the boat. Don't worry, Ben. No. You're the captain of this vessel, Charlie, and clearly know the waters around Ponty Pandy better than anyone. So? What are we going to do? Will someone come and find us? I'm sure they will, love. But till then, we need to keep our spirits up. How, Ch Charlie? Like all those Ponty Pandy sailors of long ago did, by singing the Ponty Pandy Sea Shanty. I'm not sure I know that one. Don't worry, I'll teach it to you. <laughs> Set a course for the coast of fair Ponty Pandy. Look out for the lights that are bringing me home. For I have been sailing to lands far and distant, but I will return for a wasted than home. That was so great, teaching Elvis and Penny how to use the sonar. Better than fighting giant carrots. Way better! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you lot. You haven't seen Charlie and Bronny, have you? They're not at the cafe. That's strange. They should have been back hours ago. Gareth, can you look after Sarah and James? I'll call for help. Charlie, Bronwyn and Ben are lost at sea. Charlie, Charlie Bronwyn, Bronwyn and Ben are lost, lost at sea? sea? We'll need the helicopter. Elvis, you call Tom Thomas. Right, Sam. Wallaby one. Charlie Bronwyn and Ben are lost at sea. On my way. I'll take Juno, you two take Neptune. Looks like we'll need the new sonar. I can't wait. 
wait to see this. Ooh, it's good to be on dry land again. Chicken pasta feeling better now, sir? Oh, yes, Sam. Much better. Right. I just need to find the right frequency, and we should be able to see everything the turtle is doing. That's brilliant, Ben. Oh, dear. That turtle does bob about a bit, doesn't she? Chicken pasta back, sir. I think I'll just go out for some fresh air. So which way do we go? Um, that way? I said that way, Norman. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying, Mandy, but the waves are taking me this way. But that's taking us towards... like she's going along the coast. Yes. She certainly doesn't mind the sea being a bit rough. Wait a minute. What's that? It's a rowing boat. That's Norman and Mandy, and they're heading for the cliffs. But where? There's miles of cliffs along the coast. Look, they're near the lighthouse. Norman and Mandy are in a rowing boat and heading towards the cliffs near the lighthouse. Got it. And on my way. Where are you two? Fireman Sam is on his way. Elvis, the bag. an inflatable rescue path! Ooh. Oh! Tie it to the end of the jetty, Penny, then hold it steady. Sarah! James! It's okay! We're coming to get you! Done! It's going to sink! Don't panic! I'm here! Elvis, you help me complete the winter training. And I agree, the inflatable rescue path is better than totally brilliant. Now, you three, you must remember that frozen lakes are not safe to play on. Sorry, Sorry Fireman Sam. Sam. I shouldn't have wanted to show off my brilliant ice skating. I meant to do that. <laughs> Let's pull her up. I'm sorry. 
sorry I put so many props on my side of the ship, Sam. I just wanted the best pirate ship ever. Don't worry, Norman. As long as you and Hannah are both safe. That looks like the perfect pirate ship to me. <gasps> it really does. Oh, my little Norman set design is so realistic. I feel like Jimmy Deck could jump out at any moment. Who <laughs> are? I am the pirate Ponty Pandy Pete, and this is my treasure. And here comes my ship, the Ponty Pandy Burr. <laughs> Brilliant! It couldn't have gone better. Norman Rice! That sail is made from my nighty! <gasps> I don't want my frillies flapping about in front of everybody in Ponty Pandy. Now that's entertainment. Anna. Yes, I'm fine. But look what you did. Why can't you ever do anything normal? Why do you have to be so embarrassing? Oh, I'm sorry, lover. I don't mean to embarrass you in front of your friends. But you do. Is everything all right? Everything's fine. If I were just like a regular sausage, cooked on a regular barbecue, with no silly hats involved. All right, Hannah. Look! The bottle! Move back, everyone! It's spreading! <laughs> Stop! We're moving towards the cliff! We are trapped! Oh! This time you really do need to call Fireman Sam! Oh no! My battery's flat! Now what are we going to do? We can use my hat! The solar panels have got a power adapter! There! There's a grass fire at the ruins and people are trapped on the cliff! There's a grass fire at the ruins, and people are trapped on the cliff. Oh, Trevor, I'm getting vertication again. Oh. Uh. What are we going to do? It's Uncle Sam! Penny, you hose down the grass. We'll get the floppy shovels. Okay, Sam. sure everyone's okay. We need to get this fire under control. Oh, Cloud Scraper is floating away! So, you won't be flying to the top of Ponty Pandy Mountain after all, Mandy. No, but Lumbykins will. Go, Lumbykins! Oh dear, he's chewing through the ropes. He could fall to the ground. I think we'd better call Fireman Sam! <gasps> Lemmykins has taken off in Joe's Cloud Scraper and there's no licensed pilot on board! <laughs> Lemmykins has taken off in Joe's Cloud Scraper and there's no licensed pilot on board! <laughs> Scrape 
is heading for Ponty Pamdi Mountain. We need to get to the mountain railroad and fast. Tom, we're going to need the helicopter. Chewing culprit. Good work, Sam. Oh, that's a relief. The Ponty Pandy Pioneers are stuck in the treehouse. <gasps> Safe now. Hooray! I should have screwed the brace in properly, like Fireman Sam and Penny. Sorry I didn't do my job properly. You never do your job properly, Norman. Penny, help me brace the rest of the tree. Elvis, you climb up using the tree spurs and take the zip line equipment with you. There's only one way to get everyone down. Done, everyone. Right, Elvis, your turn. Uh, slowly this time. <laughs> oh. oh no, Sam, I'm stuck again. <laughs> <laughs> If you're stuck, give him a shout He'll be there to help you out So move aside, make way for Fireman Sam Cause he's 